Jesus' name. Oh, my God. 
you're coming in. He will bless the work of your hands. He will make his countenance to shine upon you.
Tonight is a night of celebration, and the Lord will do us good in Jesus' name. Let's all be on our feet as we pray together. Our precious and wonderful God, we are appreciating you for what you have done for us in this great crusade. Thank you for all the miracles that you have wrought in our lives. Thank you for the great salvation, and thank you for what you are going to do tonight. Father, as we commence the program tonight, your divine presence and power will lead us, and your name will be glorified at last. Be with us even as we continue now. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. A louder amen. amen. As we remain standing, we are going to sing together from our program sheet on page four. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest friend but wholly lean on Jesus' name. When darkness seems to hide his face, I rest on his unchanging grace. In every high and stormy girl, my uncle holds within the veil. His up, his covenant, his blood, support me in the women flood. When all around my soul gives way, he then is all my hope and stay when he shall come with trumpet sound oh may I then in him be found dressed in his righteousness alone faultless to stand before the throne on Christ the solid rock I stand all other ground is sinking sound and all other ground is sinking sound
grandfather in the Lord, an apostle of faith, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui. Mommy Esther Kumui, Her Excellency, the wife of the Deputy Governor Gombe State, the Chairman Khan Taraba State, Minister of the Gospel in Taraba State here present, government officials from the federal, state, and local government here present. My elder brother, Dr. Panam Pasi Paul. <laughs> Members of the praise, men and brethren, with high sense of humility, I consider this a rare privilege an opportunity for me, the least of all people that have gathered here, to stand and make a vote of thanks. I want to say, on behalf of His Excellency, Architect Dairu Jason Ishaku, the Executive Governor of Taraba State, and the good people of Taraba State, there is no single adjective for us to use to quantify our thanks for what God has used this great man of our generation for this six days program. On Wednesday when we went to the airport to receive him, one highly placed personality called me and said, who is this your pastor? Flight had been canceled since Mondays Tuesday, but the atmosphere has changed because you are coming. I said, this is one man that is connected with heaven. Any man, any woman, a small boy like me, haven't come close to his ministry, my life had not remained the same. Let me say it to encourage youth who are the majority that are seated and who this church will be handed over to us. That a friend in Yola, in Gongola State, on the 10th of April 1988, invited me to Deeper Life Bible Church, Nasarao Jimeta Yola. And on that day, I gave my life to Jesus through the message I had. And for 34 years now, God has been awesome, God has been faithful. In fact, there are miracles that I cannot mention. One is that immediately I got converted, I applied for employment in Yola, I sent it through post, I was invited for interview, and immediately I was employed. And when I applied for admission at Amadu Bello University, Zaria, I was at a December retreat campground in Yola. Somebody went to Zaria and brought my admission letter. <laughs> Up to this time, after 34 years, God has been faithful that I have not been admitted into the hospital. And this same God, when others will say they have applied and taken their CVs and lobby this and lobby that, up to this moment, I've seen the faithfulness of God. I have not lobbied for anything. I've never applied and lobbied anyone with my CV in the office. And God has been promoting me. Amen. It is on this note I am encouraging any one of you that having been in this program, go that has brought this man of God, this international evangelist, to launch out from Taraba State. Don't be just a spectator. Be a partaker of his blessings, and the Lord will do you good in Jesus' name. 
on behalf of the governor of Taraba State, sir, we are much grateful. Since you are coming, the atmosphere of Taraba State has changed. And since you have come, we have not seen any crusade in Jalingo that even those that are passing by could testify like this. It has been miracle gallows every day. It has been harvest of souls every day. And all this, we are returning glory unto your God. And we are praying on behalf of the governor of Taraba State, who has been the advocate of peace in this land, that having stepped your feet into Taraba State, the 16 local government and two special development areas, peace shall permeate all the nooks and crannies of our state in Jesus' name. And we are trusting that this God that has called you into this commission will continually renew your strength and daily will give you what you are going to speak to the whole world as there will be revival in Taraba State even as you leave. We trust and believe that one day you are coming back here and many of us will stand and say this is our testimonies. In fact, my last prayer request, I will not pray having come closer to see you face to face and I know that miracle will take place tonight in Jesus' name. Thank you, thank you, Mungode. Put your hands together, double that clapping for our brother, Mr. All my pastors are moving tonight in Jesus' name. said to say to the mountain standing on my way now get out of here from my way I command you today he said the father up in heaven he will do whatsoever I say and the mountain will get out of the way Without a delay, all my passes are moving tonight in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, no matter the height or the might, they move all the same. Yes, they move all the same. Impossibility is bound to me, but Jesus not that of Satan. So you can say to the 
supernatural cataract. That's the cloudy growth in the eye. Please, Baba, you can share your testimony. The son is here to confirm to us. Tell us what happened to Baba. Praise the Lord. Please, I'm sorry, I'll say it out there. Ajira. <laughs> Munkeshi Ganye, Beba, Munkeshi Mission, that's with the Mishazi, Beba, but in the Bamuda Gadi Baba Beba. So say Baba Dashma Shigan just said to my Toshiba, I couldn't get Ginia Ganye. So she has to be a coma, whether so I be she bashakuri. So Mukata Domoka decided to move as Aduna Muyaransa. Major Totuna is Babana Pama Dananda Muan. Why not Tunde Anan, Anabuganan, Bamuko Baba Muzurishi, but I kill her and number by the Sam Soki. Muna zo de baba rike baba ni ke yi ina ke baba ne mun zo mota baba ce zai banga rike shi nayi na kashi daji na fama sifa na rike shi muna zo baba ce driver ba ka sori baba ce driver ka sori driver na gudu baba ce driver kana gudu in driver shi ka ga da sai baba ce driver ka shi ka ga da muna zo de muka so sai muka wuke kina bi muna zo sai muka zo sai muka shigo muka samu sit a baya de muka zo na tolocin da ake adu aka ce Dume damwa, yesa hano ya indi damwa seiki, in Allah yada samosa wiki. So se aku wata ba we Allah yada zo, se da se aku sadi baba. Tache baba, in kaba de gaskiya ga Allah, ino kazi budu. Kaje kaji so kwenye ba, du abunde kaga kaga zona, in Allah yada du damwa de kaje shi, ya fara ya kari, zako kwa magira wote wote testimony. So demu kaza zo ana adua, se tache baba kasa hano ino kwa, in kasa hano ino inde wote kida mwa. Kasa anu aoje, Baba ya sano, ana adua, ana adua. Sisi ba, sisi muka chama ta, muka chama shiba ba. Kachika ba de adua, kadi 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 kabagupa kasi yangu ba. Kachika de adua, ina Allah da, da kasa musauki. Baba ya dagi, ya dagi na adua, ya dagi na adua. Haka kama adua. Kila mtu yeba sisi chama na yena kani. Sisi muka chama na kani sisi e, kana kani e. So Wonderful. Amen. That's the interpretation. This is Baba Denis Dagoba. He is from Bali local government. He has been blind since fourth, since twelve. April 2021, 10 months back, and the children have taken him to the eye hospital in Zing and other various places. He said he just woke up from sleep and he could not see, and he has been blind since then. Until yesterday, when the man of God prayed, he said when they came, he was holding him, doing everything for him since those 10 months, but... When they came in here, once, uh, some, uh, one of our people told them that they should believe God. God will open his eyes. And after the prayer of the man of God, Baba can easily see. So now I will test him with what we have here. Baba, uh, Baba, wana me? Me, wana farine koja. Praise the Lord. Amen. He says it's white. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for the Lord. How many blind eyes have opened since we started? Jalingo Choir, please come up. More blind eyes we open tonight. More limb legs we walk tonight. Deaf ears we open tonight. Short legs we
has come with supernatural power and you'll be free today. Lose him, let him go. I say lose him, let him go. Your time of freedom has come. Lose him. a good man. Why, Lord, why? Jesus walked to that tomb. They opened wide the door. Lazarus came forth. He began to praise the Lord. He broke the chains. grand finale and uh, we've been here with you all these seven days and I just want to with the whole of my heart appreciate our father who has granted us the privilege to fellowship and to minister along with him so thank you sir for being so magnanimous to us and thank you thank you ma'am Thank you. I've also been given the uh, advice to at least introduce my staff and my children. And I think I just want to uh, take this opportunity to do that. I'm not the only one playing the instruments and doing all the singing of all the parts. Uh, you can see them, they're all here. And I'm so grateful to God for blessing me with such incredible people incredible staff as young as they may look some of them have been with me for 24 years and counting and uh, let me start with the band leader who is up there can you wave your hands so the camera can pick you that is pastor benny bello and that is our band leader and our second keyboardist, that's Pastor Sam. And on the bass guitar is uh, Max Morrison. And seated on the drums is my son in whom I'm well pleased, that is Holly Panam Persepol. And uh, closest to me here is Debbie Naji and uh, in the middle is uh, what's that your name again okay I just went blank for a moment uh, that is Juliet and uh, the one that appears to be looking as if she's the smallest even though she's the oldest amongst them uh, and that is my youngest daughter and that is Lorraine even though she decided to get married and dropped my name, so I praise God for that. So she dropped Panam and took something else. 
Praise the Lord. Tonight is celebration night. Because when I think about all the incredible things, the miracles, signs and wonders that the Lord himself has done through the hands of the ministry of our father, W.F. Kumoyi, is just, I think we should just celebrate. We should just celebrate. Don't you think so? I think we should celebrate. Hallelujah. And I want to start it this way. When Jesus came, he came down from heaven. I said, Jesus came home, he came down from heaven. When he landed, he landed in Israel. I say, when he landed, he landed in Israel. But there was trouble, God sent him down to Africa. We must praise him in the African way. Are you ready? We must praise him in the African way. Now we must praise them in the African way. Do you put the button, get the button, do the button, get the book? Do you put the button, get the button, do the button, get the book? Do you put the button, get the button? When Jesus came, he came down from heaven. Jesus came, oh, he came down from heaven. When he landed, he landed in Israel. When he landed, he landed in Israel. But there was trouble. God sent him down to Africa. And we must praise him in the African way. And we must praise him in the African way. And we must praise him in the African way. Wanna praise your name? I am, I am. Some people say out of ignorance that Jesus Christ came from England. No, no, no. I'd like to tell everybody that Jesus is not from America. No, no, no. Because I have read it and I have seen it. And now I know that God sent him down to Africa. Yes, my Lord. He is my God. And he is my Lord. He has called me his friend and made me his brother. And that's why I know, I know that I know that if I jump a boo, Jesus jump a boo. Oh. I say if I jump Gary, Jesus jump Gary. I say, if I jump a girl, Jesus jump a girl, my love. I say, if I jump a mom, Jesus jump a mom. Now, can we do this together? Oh, yes, sir. Pop, 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 jimmy, pop, jimmy, pop, jimmy, pop, 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 jimmy, pop, jimmy, pop, jimmy, pop, 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 Pick 
of the CD is at the church book stand right at the gate. They are available there for you. At the end of the service, you can avail yourself to them. Hallelujah. Praise God. All right, people of God. Yeah. All right, people of God. Yeah. Are you ready to praise the Lord? Oh, For the Lord is good and his mercy is forever. forever. Jehovah. 
so delighted to see what the Lord is doing and has been doing and tonight will yet do and as we hand you over to our father who has been the instrument that the Lord has been using to bless us nobody is going to live here nobody will live here without a testimony I hand you over to our Father, and the Lord bless you. Earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. The Global Crusade is marching forward in the month of March to a location where oil was first discovered and is now your location for the discovery of full redemption. March with us for unfettered peace, giving salvation. March with us for limited access, dealing with every situation. March with us for untapped resources and get drenched in the oil of solution. God's General, Pastor Dr. W. F. Kui has given the signal. The Lord said it shall come to pass. Healing shall come to pass. Miracles shall come to pass. Deliverance shall come to pass. And when you hear the final amen, it has come to pass. Message received, sir. Signaling full redemption for all through Christ, March 24 to March 29, 2022, live at the glory of all lands by Yelsa State, South South Nigeria, and live on satellite, social media platforms, radio and television stations across the world. March you will have all men to be saved. See that? He wants you to be saved. He wants all men to be saved. Well, some people say, I don't know whether God wants me to be saved or not. You know, the middle wall of separation is broken down. Now that James has crossed over, now he's born again. I know that. South South Nigeria and live on satellite, social media platforms, radio and television stations across the world. His ministry through song is a pioneer worship leader, Church German. Full redemption for one and all across all faces and races. Connect with the global crusade. No matter how great, how deep your problem is, we have a Christ, a Savior. A redeemer that will set you free because he has unlimited power. Come for your full redemption global crusade. March with us. March with us for unfettered peace, giving salvation. Match with us for limited access, dealing with every situation. Match with us for untapped resources and get drenched in the oil of solution. God's general, Pastor Dr. W. F. Kui, has given the signal. The Lord said it shall come to pass. Healing shall come to pass. Miracles shall come to pass. Deliverance shall come to pass. And when you hear the final amen, it has come to pass. Message received, sir. Signaling full redemption for all through Christ, 
March 24 to March 29, 2023, live at the Glory of All Lands by Yelsa State, South South Nigeria, and live on satellite, social media platforms, radio, and television stations across the world. Ministry through song is a pioneer worship leader. People, our leaders, chapter 1, verses 3 and 4. Second Peter chapter 1, from verse 3. According as his divine power has given unto us all things that pertain unto life and to godliness through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises that by these ye may be partakers of the divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. There's a lot in those two verses. It says that we become partakers of the divine nature He's spoken about grace being available. He's spoken about escaping from the corruption, or escaping the corruption that is in the world through lust. He's spoken about knowledge, the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. And he says we should grow in that knowledge. And eventually, the bottom line, the conclusion is that we, are partakers of the divine nature. Tonight, we're looking at the message, the privileged partakers of the divine nature. The privileged partakers of the divine nature. Possessing the divine nature makes us act like God. Whenever we read the scriptures, we should interpret that scripture and ask ourselves, what does it mean? If we add the divine nature, what's the implication of that? As we look at the whole world, the earth created by God, everything in existence partakes of the same nature of the same powers, of the same attributes, of the same characteristics that belong